Welcome to Academic Gain Tutorials. This is the first lecture on cost and management accounting. In this video, we will discuss about accounting and the three basic activities covered by accounting. So, let's move into the topic. Accounting is the process of identifying, recording, classifying, summarizing, and interpreting of all the financial events or transactions of an organization. So, what accounting basically does is it first identifies and then records all the financial events or transactions of an organization, and after that, it classifies, then summarizes, and interprets those previously identified and recorded financial events or transactions of that organization. Now, after going through all these activities, accounting will communicate or provide necessary information or accounting knowledge with the interested users for their effective decision making. Now, when we are talking about interested users of accounting knowledge of an organization, there could be two types of users, internal users and external users. When we are talking of the internal users, this could include the people from management, or people from other departments within the organization, who could require the accounting knowledge in order to make effective decisions regarding manufacturing, or decisions regarding cost optimization or cost effectiveness. On the other's hand, when we are talking of the external users of accounting information, this could include the investors, shareholders, customers, or people from other organizations who might require the accounting information for effective decision making before getting into business with the organization, or investing into the organization. So, accounting communicates, or provide necessary information, or accounting knowledge with the interested users for their effective decision making. Now. Accounting consists of three basic activities. Number 1. Accounting identifies the economic events relevant to its business. For example, sales of snack chips by PepsiCo is an economic event. Here PepsiCo provides its customers with a product, and in return it receives money from its customers. So, this is a financial or economic event, and, the first job of accounting is to identify this economic event. Now. After it identifies these economic events or activities, accounting then records those activities in order to provide history of financial activities. It can do so by keeping a chronological diary of events occurring every day, or at a given interval of time by date serially. And finally, after identifying these economic events, and recording them as a chronological diary of events, accounting then communicates, or provides necessary information or accounting knowledge of economic events of an organization to interested users for their effective decision making. For example, PepsiCo communicates collected information to interested users by means of accounting reports. So, we have discussed about accounting, and the three basic activities of accounting. Thank you for watching this video, see you on the next lecture of cost and management accounting.